The water that comes out of your taps in a residential property or small business at the ground floor should be at around 3 bar. That means it should be under enough pressure to allow services such as a boiler and a washing machine to run normally and to allow a 9 litre bucket to fill in around a minute. The first thing you're likely to notice if there's a drop in water pressure is that your bath and kitchen sink will take longer than normal to fill. In some severe cases, sediment that's present in your pipes may rise up and come out of the tap. This may result in discoloured water. If you've had a demanding service such as a hot tub installed, filling this product may use the full capacity of the supply. This isn't the same as a drop in mains pressure, so you won't get any sediment, but there can be a similar noticeable drop in the flow rate from other taps. If there's a drop in pressure, or if you're exerting an extremely high demand, modern services such as your dishwasher, washing machine, or hot water from your boiler may operate more slowly or not at all. Your central heating system shouldn't be affected. Older services, especially older electric showers, may still operate. However, as there isn't enough water flowing over the element, they may fluctuate in temperature or produce water that is scalding hot. A drop in water pressure can be caused by anything from a burst water main to excessive sustained demand on the local system. On some rare occasions, it can even be caused by the fire brigade needing to fill up their appliances for their own use. If you suspect that your water pressure has dropped, or if you want to check that the pressure you're getting is what you should expect, there is a simple test that you can do. Find the tap closest to the internal stop valve. This is often under the kitchen sink. Place a container, such as a bucket, in the sink and time how long it takes to fill it with 9 litres of water from the fully opened cold tap. You should expect to fill a 9 litre bucket in around 1 minute. If it takes longer than that to fill the bucket, then the flow rate is lower than what you should expect. The first thing to do is to check that all the valves leading to the tap are open. That means the internal stop valve should be fully open along with any isolation valves. If there's been no notice of scheduled maintenance in your area, check our website for an update, as it is often the easiest method of getting updates. For customers that are registered with us and have provided a mobile number, you may receive an automated text message alerting you to unplanned interruptions in your area. We also use Twitter to alert our customers as soon as possible. If you still can't find an answer, contact us for assistance. If the problem is limited to a single tap, such as one in the bathroom, check to see if there are flexi hoses that might have become kinked, bent or obstructed and that if they have isolation valves fitted, they are fully open. Residential and commercial properties should contact us if their demand for water exceeds what is currently being supplied. It may be possible to increase the pressure after the internal pipework has been checked to ensure it can withstand the increase. If you'd like to find out more about any of the issues that could affect your tap water, please choose one of these options.